Hi, this is Carrie Green of Carrie Through Coaching and Organizing Services, www.carriethrough.com, C-A-R-R-I-E-T-H-R-U.com. I asked a client recently what her biggest challenge is, and this is what she wrote back, five words. Let me read them to you. Time, energy, procrastination, feeling overwhelmed. You ever feel like that? You know what's interesting? Time, energy, procrastination, and feeling overwhelmed. They're very tied together. They really have a lot, in, there's a lot in common here, a lot going on. What often happens is there are really two things that can help you beat that feeling of having no time, having no energy, feeling overwhelmed and procrastinating. The first of the two things are to understand what's driving you to do it in the first place. What's really motivating you to get these jobs done? Because when you understand that motivation, it's a lot easier to make the time and to have the energy and to stop procrastinating so that you get it done. So it's really understanding what's motivating you, what's really in it for you, and to understand, to dig down just a little bit and ask, what happens when I get this project done? Why do I really want to do it? Why is it important to me? What do I get out of it? What does my family get out of it? Maybe what do my, what do my, cli my clients or my colleagues get out of it? Why am I doing this? What's the real end result here? And it becomes a lot easier to get these things done. The feeling overwhelmed, I recommend to people that they really start breaking their projects up into tasks. To ask yourself, what's one little thing that I can do to move this project forward just a little bit? And when you ask yourself that, the feeling of overwhelm isn't as bad. Now there is one more thing going on here. Because I know there are sometimes so many things on our to-do list that how can you help, even with understanding what's motivating you, and even with understanding that you can't, yet you can break these things up into steps, sometimes that feeling of overwhelm is there because there are just so many things going on. So what I suggest you do is to look at that list, to look at those many, many tasks that you've got going on, and say to yourself, what are the things that I really, really want to get done? What are the most important things here? And what are the things on this list that I can say either somebody else can do it or they're simply just not going to happen or they don't have to happen right now? And start to prioritize that to-do list and really to get to make a decision within yourself once you've prioritized that to-do list to stick to the few priorities that you've got and to be okay with letting them go. So understanding what's motivating you, breaking it up into tasks, and within the things that you want to be doing, really decide which the most important are. I hope you find this information helpful. I encourage you to pass it on. Let your friends know about this channel, this YouTube channel. Let your friends, your family know, and anybody else. And I also invite you to visit my website, which is www.carriethrough.com, C-A-R-R-I-E-T-H-R-U.com. And while you're there, pick up the free e-course, which is Four Steps to Get Organized, Calm the Overwhelm, Create Space, and Reclaim Your Freedom. Have a fabulous day, and I'll be speaking to you soon. Bye for now.